Hey, what's up guys, how you doing? So, I wanna talk about a question I get asked a lot, and that is, it pertains to hair growth, and a lot of guys uh, feel like their beard like stops growing. And they wanna know, is it a real thing? And why is it happening? Uh, yeah, it is a real thing. It's not something that's like, after an inch of growth, your beard's gonna stop growing. But there is what's called a terminal hair length. And that applies to hair all over your body. And I wanna kinda of go into detail, like from what I've learned about what it is. A lot of it has to do with genetics. Um, certain races, certain ethnicities are gonna grow hair just in general better than others. Like if you're Asian or Native American, it's gonna be kinda of hard for you. <laughs> Um, I know if there, I do know a few Asian guys with beards, like decent beards, but it's not very common. We'll put it that way. Now, I usually get two questions related exactly to this, and the one is, why is my hair stopping growing, and why is my beard shedding? Should I be freaking out about this? Don't freak out. Calm down. <laughs> Terminal hair length is is a real thing, and your beard can grow to a certain length and then stop. That's true. Um, and shedding also happens. It happens for me every day when I comb my when I comb my beard out. I shed, definitely. And I'll do a video more about the shedding thing, but terminal length hairs are usually the ones that are coming out when you're combing. If you notice, like when you're combing your beard, little bitty hairs aren't coming out. The long, the long ass hairs are the ones that are coming out. And those are usually hairs that have reached terminal length or just your longer hairs in general. Just because you shed a beard hair or combed out a beard hair that's one inch long, that doesn't mean that's your terminal length. Sometimes beard hairs just fall out, it happens. Happens to me all the time. So there's basically two types of hairs. There's vellus hair and then there's terminal hair. Um, vellus is like the peach fuzz that's on your face like before you grow like actual like thick hair on your beard. And terminal hair is like the hair like this that's like full grown man hair, you know? Uh, it ain't sissy hair. Now vellus hair, the peach fuzz hair, the little sissy boy hair, that turns into terminal hair. And I titled this video talking about minoxidil because one of the things it does is it can trigger vellus hairs to turn into terminal hairs. So like one guy recently asked me and he showed me some pictures. He has a beard that's like coming down here and it's like along the jawline and coming up a little bit, but, but up in here he has like really light peach fuzzy hairs. And those are his vellus hairs. If you have that, what you could do is you could use minoxidil. And I have a whole video on minoxidil on this page as well, talking about the issues and concerns with minoxidil. Generally, if you're over 21 or 22, go for it. If you're 60 or 70, I wouldn't go for it because minoxidil in some cases, in very rare cases, can cause heart conditions. So if you have like a pre-existing heart condition, I wouldn't use it. But if you're just a healthy young guy, you're 20, say you're 25 years old and you still have some peach fuzz up here, give it a shot. Minoxidil triggers that vellus hair and turns it into a terminal hair, which basically is a thicker, like a full man hair, for lack of better words. And if you're wondering where to get minoxidil, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of different places to find it. Um, some of them are reliable, some aren't. Some are good deals, some aren't. I'm gonna put the links down below to like the best deals I found on it for like the best price, for the best quality. So go check out the links in the description, it'll take you right to them. So for one, never freak out if your hair is falling out when you comb your beard. Weirdly enough, that's one of the most popular questions I get. Um, and I should've done a video earlier about this, but it's completely natural. It happens to me all the time, it happens to everybody. Uh. And at some point here in the near future, I'll do a video where I comb my beard out and I'll show you the, the hairs that come out. So don't freak out if you're losing hair when you're combing your beard out. Number two, don't freak out if your beard seems to stop growing. Um, if it's short, if it's like an inch or two long and it stops growing, that would be a rare case. Um, usually you can get a decent amount of length out of your hair. And a lot of guys just don't notice that it's growing. It's like, it's like having a, it's like getting a puppy when it's first born you don't really notice it growing into a full grown dog, but it's doing it just slowly. It's very, it's a very slow progression. So if you feel like your beard is like short and it stops growing, comb it out, take a picture of it, come back in like a month or two, take another picture of it and compare the two. Normally you're gonna find a difference there. But once, you're, once your beard gets down to like this length or longer, it could reach its terminal growth limit. And that's just a re like reality of the situation. Um, some of us weren't meant to have beards that are six feet long, you know? It's just the cold hard truth of it, and damn it, it hurts. You know? I, trust me, I cry myself to sleep every single night about this. I'm t I got an Amazon subscription to pillowcases, they come once a week. New pillowcases. Cause it's out of control. And number three, those 
peach fuzz hairs, the really light, skinny, sissy boy hairs <laughs> that just aren't really coming in and becoming a full hair. Those are just, that's a natural thing. Those are called vellus hairs. It takes some people longer to grow out than others. Some people get it when they're 15, and it, and it just depends on your genetics. But you can jumpstart it with minoxidil, and generally it is safe. <sighs> You're gonna see a lot of videos on the internet of people like, oh, don't take minoxidil, your mom's, your mom's gonna slip on a crack and fall and break her back. The world's gonna end, there's gonna be a big chemical leak in a match factory, a match is gonna drop, ignite the fumes, and boom, the earth is done as we know it. Don't listen to them. Do your own research, you know? Don't even, and don't even listen to me. Just Google it, Google the actual risks of minoxidil. Go to like WebMD. Go to like actual pages, not blogs. But yeah, that's just a little quick talk, a little quick tip for you guys, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of Ty Lopez knowledge for you guys. Ty Lopez, oh my gee. But yeah, that was just a quick, that was a quick thing, just me covering those three general topics. Um, I'm gonna do some more in-depth videos here in the coming month about those things. So stay tuned for that. Guys, I miss you. I haven't uploaded in like, haven't uploaded in like a week. I'm here. Daddy's home, okay? <laughs> All right guys, that is the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, because let's be honest, <laughs> you liked it. <laughs> I'm so, I just come back so cocky, I don't know. Put a comment down below if you have any questions. I've been trying, hey man, it's so hard to like, but I've been trying to keep up with everybody's comments. It's And also, guys, don't just depend on me. If you guys see a com if you guys see a question down in the comment section and you have an opinion or an answer on it, shh, type away. Get down there and respond to somebody. Help them out. Let's help each other out here, guys. Okay? And if this is your first time seeing my channel, hit that subscribe button. Because gosh darn it all to heck, I got a bunch of great videos and I got a bunch more coming. Okay? All about beards. But yeah, guys, good to be back. Thanks for watching. Stay bearded. Have a great day.